All right, ladies and gentlemen, we appear to be live. Once again, I repeat, we appear to be live. I want to thank everybody that's patiently been waiting for this live stream to get underway. As you already know, if it's a Tuesday or Thursday night around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you already know it's the Mighty Hebrew University. What you see right now is the homepage to www.themightyhebrew.com. Donate, don't hate. Once again, that's www.themightyhebrew.com. Membership to the website is free. If you have not already signed up, we encourage you to do so immediately. That way, anything the official tribal minister has going on, such as book signings, speaking engagements, guest appearances, lectures, and or debates, you'll be able to find that on the live calendar. You will be notified through your electronic device as to the date, time, location, and the information of wherever he'll be appearing, as well as the community section, the online store where merchandise is available, as well as information with the online university, which we all know and love as the Mighty Hebrew University. So tonight... We've got part two of The Brain, A Doorway to Yah Consciousness. We got a lot of good feedback and reviews from part one. So without further ado, I'm going to bring on the mighty Hebrew. He's going to introduce our special guest, and we're going to get started with this presentation. Mighty Hebrew, welcome, good brother. Take it away. Toda Rabbah, Toda Rabbah. Hallelujah. I give all praise and honor to York Wall. The supreme eternal power for one of our forefathers, Abraham Yuxkok and Yaakov, all those striving for righteousness sake, I say unto the family, Shalom Aleichem. For all the supporters of the mighty Hebrew, the mighty Hebrews, the mighty Hebrew University, Global Media Inc. and BTV, as well as giving shots out. This is down to Allah from Maccabees TV. We you have to constantly support one another as Hebrew Israelites, sovereign nationalists. I just for the mighty Hebrew University, you know, in righteousness. And I just want to tell the family to keep supporting. But getting straight to the point to tonight's presentation, the brain, a doorway to Yah consciousness. Right now, this is a necessity that we need. And we must understand the pinnacle of seriousness when we're dealing in this subject matter right here because the brain is the functioning mechanism of all things, whether real, unreal, animated, not animated, in, out, up, down, left, right, good, evil, everything comes through the doorway of the brain. So we have to really take this into a deep, serious thought, serious discussion, because there's a lot of psychological ills within our community as the Hebrew nation of Israel. So here at the Mighty Hebrew University, we're bringing skill, healers, such as Dr. Ben Zedek, Ben Yehuda, you know, who's a skilled master in this concept and precept, bringing the Tanakh back into the surgical perspective of dealing with the brain, because we're really brain dirty and we need our brains washed in the sense of cleanliness, you know, into this Yah consciousness, this Yah truth. So it's very important for the family to sit back and take a deep breath and listen to what is going to be presented tonight. We have a short time tonight because we have to prepare, you know, for the 24 class, 12 week session that the great healing doctor is going to be bringing forth. And soon um, we're going to be giving you links and availabilities for where the doctor will be doing some live screens um, on his own straight from Global Media Inc by way of the Mighty Hebrew University, as well as you know, we, we're open for booking arrangements. If anybody wants the great Dr. Ben Yehuda, you know, to speak at any, you know, universities, colleges, campuses, you know, churches, mosques, synagogues, temples, wherever, um, you could definitely um, send to the Mighty Hebrews and we are, or the Mighty Hebrew University, and we'll handle all the logistics to that. But without further ado, the cold family, thank, thank you. You know, this 
school going but without further ado i want to introduce to the family a brotherly you know in pursuit are people free from mental psychological ills and spiritual ills unity as a nation without further ado the great healer dr ben zede ben yahuda hallelujah Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom. Welcome, El. Pleasure. Uh, it's a fun, you know. Tonight, you know, I want this to be a little bit more interactive, you know. I, I tend to strive when, you know, we all make an input. And um, I want to start off. Again, I'm still in Berashit, which have everything to do with the brain, <laughs> you know. And um, I wanted to go back and start off at a uh, uh, Berashit um, chapter two, verse. Uh, we're gonna start off with. Six. Right, the Hebrew. Okay, absolutely. You can hear well, me good. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read and then I'm gonna ask a question. You know. Okay, okay. You know, it says, but there went up a mix from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground. Uh, what do you get from that? <laughs> That's a real good question. <laughs> Because, <laughs> because you know, the better she can be looked at in a variety of ways, right? Based on the conscious state where you at. Mm -hmm. But from what I got in part one, we know that this is all dealing in DNA. So I don't want to say something I'm in error, but to me, right here, the mitts looks like there's some type of energy that's taking place. That we that we're seeing right here, that's going to manifest and bring forth physical reality. But you, you can know, expound. The, the beauty of it is, there's nothing wrong with making a mistake because Dang. it did say it did say the book was shut, right? Okay. And it was given to the learned, and they couldn't interpret it. Okay. It, it, it even says that the Lion of Judah will prevail to open the book. But okay. The, all of those concepts have to be taken back into the context of Hebrew thought. I mean, is okay. the Lion of Judah metaphorically? Is it one particular individual? Is it the collective mind? Okay. You know, all of these things, because if we continue to go by English definition, we're going to sit back and wait on one individual. Mm. You know, because it kept it, the scripture keeps saying the seed of Abraham. The seed then represent what memory, a collective. Okay, because I know. So we, <clears throat> I, go ahead. I was saying, <clears throat> even when you deal, <clears throat> excuse me, even when you deal with the word zakhar, zakhar means male or seed, but it also means to remember. So we know exactly we're talking about DNA. Hallelujah. Go ahead, um, doctor. Exactly. So what we have to Nasi Yashuvel did a lecture. And I'm gonna say something that is very controversial, but it's all right. And he was showing us that, you know, if, you know, 70 souls went into Kemet, right? But we know the mother of Kemet is Kush and came out in the millions. So then where did our forefathers found women to populate with? It have to be Kushite woman, right? Okay. So, you know, so when we look all over the world, where Kushite civilization, uh, um, where they find remnants of Kushite civilization from America, Central America, um, the Caribbean, um, Northeast Africa, etc., and then you find artifacts, Hebrew artifacts, wherever Kush went, we were there because we're a family, right? Okay. So I'm going to go to the level of saying what the Torah or the Tanakh is, is the metaneta 
Meduneta encoded. Mm. And when we move in the process, when we take on this mantle of unlocking the code, we are in fact open up the book and bring forth the correct interpretation of the Meduneta. The Meduneta. Stop, 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 stop. This is very controversial. This is, you know, I got it, I got it. See, tonight's presentation is a little different and, and Dr. Bain Zidek asked me to participate on a level of discussion. So I'm going, I'm going to keep the flow like that. So I got to right. stop you. Okay, you're saying that the Torah, the Tanakh, is basically the vehicle that we can use to unlock the Meduneta. Get, get, give the family a... Uh, 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 let's say a more of a surface understanding understanding and then from there with the high sciences all right basically uh, let me in Hebrew, excuse me tribal minister and elder uh zedek ben yehuda uh not only is what he's saying tonight been said before but there's an elder by the name of omo shango of the black lotus civilization that said and gave a powerful presentation, and that was the very same point he made. Take it away, Elder. Oh man, that's beautiful. And this is just, I don't know how to say this, you know. Even my teacher, I have a teacher presently that in Qigong, and I'm causing him to respect, and he's coming from the Kemetic part, to respect the Hebrew thought. He is humbled. Because we have been far too long divided that, you know, we stole from Kevin. No, we are all family. It's not about stealing. Understand? The reality is this. Let me make it simple. Our language is rooted in science. Every Ibari, or let me say the correct word. I don't like to use the word Hebrew. Ibari. Every letter, letters, of the alphabet are paired in threes. Aleph, one, Yud, N, Oof, a hundred. Now, every letters, every one of those letters have a meaning. Every one of those letters are connected to a mineral on the periodic chart. So the Aleph then will connect to hydrogen. One, Hydrogen is one. Yud will connect to potassium. And potassium play a significant role in terms of electro, electrical conductivity in all cells. Right? And then the proof, which is a hundred. So under the ones, the tens, the hundred, you have hydrogen, potassium, etc. So every, when you speak the Hebrew letters, you are actually speaking of atom, molecules, numbers, minerals. This is science. This is science that we're speaking of. Now, when you read, as Brother Nasi said, when you, what you read in the Torah, Ham, Shem, and Japheth is not dealing with the genealogy of the entire human family. It's dealing with a, a priestly class of people, of African people who brought civilization to the world. It's not trying to cover everybody. But these are codes written that must be properly unlocked. But it can only be unlocked scientifically the only language that is close to hebrew is science it's, uh, and um doctor it's funny that you're saying that this book right here i got both copies right i got the original one and i got the revised one this is the original right here it's called the hidden wisdom in the holy bible this is the original one okay Correct. But you you can't get this. It was a blessing that I was able to get it from somebody. But this is the revised one, and you'll find this on the mightyhebrew.com at my um. If you look at my book club, and this is going to be one of the first ones that I'm going to be doing sometime next week, dealing with the book review. And I would definitely want you to be there. But I just want to read something real quick when you were saying about 
them be in a priestly class real quick. I want to read something here where they say something similar of that nature. All right, can you hear me? Clear and clearly. It says the Hebraic mysteries during their residence amongst the Chaldeans, Torah, and the great Hebrew patriarchs, Abraham, Lot, and others unnamed in the Bible came according to a cult tradition under the influence under the sanctuaries of the Chaldean mysteries said by that have been founded by Samarias, the mother of Nimrod. At that time, were highly developed as centers of occult and spiritual life. The brotherhood and sisterhood of these ancient, <clears throat> of these ancient black Atlantean, Cardian, Hebraic adapts, established and maintained those, excuse me, these occult schools and all the civilizations of the sub races of the black Aryan or black noble race of India. The mysteries were the heart of the national life and spirituality, both temporal direction and spiritual impulses emanating from them. Candidates for initiation were admitted and were worthy paths through the successive grades, as in all valid temples of the ancient mysteries, instructed concerning and trained to perceive direct those cosmic laws, processions, forces, and intelligence, which for reasons of safety and security were only revealed to the uninitiated by personification symbols and myths. For thousands of years, the Hebraic Chaldean sanctuaries thus serve the second of the black Iranian sub race of the black Aryan nobility race. And in addition, gave the primary impulses from which it was hoped great aerial Shemitic civilization would develop. A cult tradition also tells that the original black Atlantean Shemites had colonized the region of Mesopotamia and were the progenitors of the indigenous population. The whole area was their national home. They being a branch of the Shemitic fourth root race from out of, <clears throat> from out of India. But I want to jump down real quick and get straight to the point. It says, because this is what you said, it said, the Adam of the fourth and fifth root races were chosen. It is said to be the forefathers of certain sub tribes of the black Aryan race. In addition, the Israelites or the Hebrews were expected and chosen as a priestly class to submit the mystery teacher known as the Torah and Kabbalah to the Western right. humanity, which was then waiting to be born. They were drawn into Mesopotamia and more or less segregated there long before even the coming of the original Iranians from Central Asia or the departure of Abram of selected families, priestly families from the city of Or. These original black Shemitic people had their own mysteries established for them by their masters, the Hebraic adapts of those days and all the real mysticism and occultism, including the Torah, Kabbalah of the Hebraic culture stems from a blending of the Hebraic Chaldea mysteries going back to ancient Lumeria. The general populace of those early times followed by monotheistic characteristics of that spirituality, but later became guilty of anthropomorphism, animism, and superstition. The esoteric and the esoteric are found to be blended in the ancient writings, excuse me, ancient records, particularly in the Pentateuch, though also in the later books of the Old Testament. From the sanctuary, then came the great Hebrew patriarchs, the, though their historians often write and from oral tradition many centuries later, in some cases produce, produce um, transve um, transvestes of the real figures and the actual events. Nevertheless, as these values are designed to show 
the two streams of thought, the, the occult and the historical, are in fact traceable to ancient, authentic, documented records. Absolutely. So, based upon that, I remember years ago, you remember Sar, Sar Amiel, right? Kind. Sar Amiel said, secrets are hidden in the names of the people you read in the Torah. You might read a story that, you know, that might say, well, it's before the ark. Okay, you read that in English. What does that, what does that mean? You have to now go in and break down the secrets that is in those words to unlock the mystery. You might read that the creator is jealous to nation. How can God be jealous? No, there's something greater in it that you have to unlock. Your biasness. Look for the because when Moshe received the law, which is the root word of Kabbalah, mysteries, it's maths, it's maths, it's science. So, I'm going to go in now and look at Bereshit. I think I mentioned 2, verse 6, right? Okay. It went up a mix from the earth, the water, the whole face. Right. Okay. Look at that. The only purpose that possibly, right, is understanding the system. It's cool. It's deep that you pushing that because when you look at the word earth, it says irits. Exactly. And it don't actually mean earth as we know. Only exactly. there's other definitions and meanings. The word "eretz," you also hear "earths." You see the correlation. <clears throat> okay. okay, the word "earth" comes from "eretz." Okay, exactly. When you look now, your feet, you have a place there known as spring. And it's tied to the kidney channel. So, when you dance or do African dancing, in the channels under your feet, and do what is called below your navel, your sea of chi, and your mansion of blood. And in so doing, you're sending cerebral spinal fluid, DNA, you're activating your limbic brain, your higher brain centers. Close attention, he said, a mitz came from the earth and water the ground. There's a distinction between earth, aret, adama. The adama right there is referring to area of your body i'm going to show you something the chinese call it the ming men if you when you inhale the oxygen that the press on the kidneys and massage the kidneys pulses into an area in your back known as governing vessel four they call it ming men which is the root of your the original fire in your body it is the root of your reproductive essence ancestral memory dna and also the original chai, life, electricity. So when you breathe, you're stimulating. When you do an African dance and you're stimulating these energy centers. And that's what 
that um, prophetic that reference in Genesis is referring to. But they went up amidst from the earth, which watered the whole face of the ground, activating your limbic brain, which includes the pineal, the thalamus, hypothalamus pituitary, which runs the entire neural endocrine system. Now, pay close attention. If we look at this in Hebrew, we see the word alpine. It is from that word pine you get pineal. And the pineal is part and parcel of the limbic system, which runs the entire endocrine system of the body. So if you look in the next verse, it says, and Yahoah Elohim, for man from the dust of the earth, knowledge, the breath of life, and man become a living soul. Well, is that the root of life is the kidneys. The gate of life area. So you can see the direct correlation here. So these books, they weren't referring to it is metaphorical, but it is at the same time is scientific. It is encoded of what people are referring to today as medical components. I'm going to do a correlation now between the. I'm going to give you a definition of Yud He Wav He and make the correlation between Adama admits that water the face of the ground. Because if you look at the word Adama, it is the root word for what? Adama, you get blood. And what is in the blood? Plasma. And from the blood, what is also in the blood? Ki. Kai. Intelligence. The plasma is intelligence. And that intelligence is, is, is channeled in a six pointed structure. Sarah David, correct? From that word, within that word, you also see Adam, male, female, God in man, the most high intelligence in man, in the blood. All right. So, at Yudhe Avhe, you're going to see how that entire process in the sound that is of the creator, but the creative, the infinite process of creation. So the word, the first letter, yud, equal infinite process of life creation, of life creation and sustenance, equal. Waves, double helix hydrogen bonds projecting from the chromosphere of the sun. Big focus matter, which is the letter K. Serve as an empathetic bridge, which now becomes the letter Vav, to allow spirit to feel itself in matter in order to manifest corporal life. Hey, according, that is, not, and that's how we get the next letter, hey, corporal life. According to the density of, the density of matter. Now, let us make a correlation and that encompasses the essence Sound good hey wave which depict the proud. The yud again depicts DNA, which has a fixed point of light on as consciousness. As light travel through density of matter, which is the letter he, and spirals and coagulate and coagulation which becomes the wav plasma blood coalescence around the intelligent mind 
man or as man adam this is in fact a quote from phil valentine that and i just that quote to explain what's what the word sound in itself is trying to express to us okay so now when you go back to um genesis to, um Barashid, it says I'm going to show you the word mata in the following scripture now Genesis 2 verse 5 it says and every plant of the field before it grew on the earth every herb Cycle waves, the magnetic coming I mean what matter, matter then becomes what blood, blood then creates life. So you say the life of the flesh is the blood. So Yahweh Elohim, which is now referring to the DNA helix, the intelligence, has not caused it to rain. Now look at the word for rain. Okay, and I'm here. Word for rain in Hebrew is mata. Okay. Okay. Right? Absolutely. And what I just said, spirit feels itself in what? Mata. The intelligence has to become matter. It needs a body. A body has to be created in order to understand and relate to and interpret this information. So it has not caused it to rain upon the earth and to till the ground, ground again. So it's not referring to now this physical creation of a man, no. It is referring to a medical Qigong, which I call means to cultivate intent and that is done through activating the root activating the Ming men, the Adama, which have your original DNA essence and your original key. Key as an electricity, heat for digestion, etc. All of this stored in those region so this is what is referring to it has not caused it to rain upon the earth because there was no man to till in other words there was a priest the Ainagan, the cultivators of the chi the teachers the masters who knew how to teach the people how to cultivate this energy and move it within them so then it goes on to say, but then they, they went up a mix from the earth, piece of the ground. In other words, no. Dancing, martial arts. That's now that you do certain breathing, certain prayer, certain meditation. And you can look this up. There's a there's a, a move of cosmic orbit that this one brother here, Mantachai, taught. And this is what it's referring to, moving the Kundalini, building cerebral spinal fluid, building synovial fluid, nourishing the entire body, in the limbic brain, intelligence, awareness, etc. This is so I'm going to tie this into um, second Samuel six verse four right by the hebrew i want you to find that for me okay and i'm here so you said second samuel six four yeah okay i'm here all right um i want you to read because i want to see show you how show you the correlation between 
martial arts, African dancing, all of those things are martial arts practices. That the ability to interpret okay. what organs they are impacting, what meridian, what chakra they are impacting. Okay. Okay, I'll read. We have Second Samuel, chapter or Second Shemuel, chapter six, verse four reads on this wise, and he brought it out of the house of Abinadad, no, no, no. which verse, was chapter six, verse chapter six, verse start at thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. Okay, Second Samuel, correct? Mm -hmm. It reads on this wise, and it was so that when they or when they that bear the ark of Yahweh had gone six paces, he sacrificed oxen and fattens, and Dawid uh -huh. and Dawid or Dawiyad danced before Yahweh with all his might, and Dawid was girded with a linen ephod. So Dawi and all the house, keep going. So, yeah, just hold pause it for me. So okay. right there we see David dancing before Yahuwah. Now, I mean, we know that if we're using Yahuwah to represent the supreme being, you know, a force you cannot see, you know, it sounds kind of contradictory. He danced before Yahuwah. Okay. Abstract because you're reading it God. in English. Kind. But now with the, with the definition I gave you of yud hey wav hey, light becoming matter, becoming blood, becoming what? DNA, the fluid becoming repairing and healing your body. That is what it. That's what when he says he danced before Yahweh, he was accessing his higher self. He was healing. He was going through a creative process of healing, a particular exercise. And that's deep that you're saying that. Okay. And that's deep that you're saying that because I was having a class about emanation versus creation. And you can exactly. constantly see the regeneration through the, through the cosmic dance of what um, David right here is doing. He's exactly. bringing forth an emanation. And you know I'm saying so, so, that's so, so basically, when you look in amongst those people who claim they are the children of Israel, of Sephardi, compare them to those on the continent. In the Caribbean, mute. Dancing is how you activate the limbic brain. By the hijack hip hop, reggae, and all our arts, and fuse it with negative vibration to corrupt the pioneer, the pituitary hypothalamus, that which governed the neuroendocrine system. So, as we as we proceed, read the verse fifteen. There. Mighty Hebron, unmute your mic, tribal minister. Salaki, Silica, excuse me. We had Second Shemuel, chapter mm -hmm. six, verse fifteen. Yes. So that we and all the house of Yasha Allah, Yisrael, brought up the ark of Yahweh with all shouting right. and with the sound yeah. of the trumpet. Okay. Verse 16, and mm -hmm. as the ark of Yahweh came into the city of Dawi, Michal, oh. what'd you say? Sindhu 6, verse 15, once again, very slowly. Okay. Chapter 5, 6, verse 15, repeat that one again. Verse okay, I'll go, I go slow. So Dawi and all the yeah, house stop. of Yisrael. Stop, stop right there. 
I'm going to ask you or anybody listening to draw. If you look at the name Dawid, Dalit, and the Dalit is actually the ancient Dalit, it's a pyramid. Who are you looking at? The two Dalit represent a pyramid, one going up and one going down, correct? Okay, structure, which represent atom, structured intelligence, which represent plasma, which represent blood, and we know what's in the blood, intelligence, right? So now, when you take the WAV, which represent now plasma also, middle of this Smagan David, right? That plasma right there, it represents limbic brain. The WAV represents the limbic brain. That which it also represents the spinal cord. So it's a code you're looking at. So, so Dawid and all the house of Israel. Now let's go deeper now. So David name is symbolic of the limbic brain. So we know that he's activating, he's regulating his hormone, digestion, healing diseases, all of these dances, these Qigong exercises are high nagan diseases, sickness, hatred, jealousy, entire neuroendocrine system. Now, when you look carefully, so that way we know that it means the limbic brain. So now it moves on to say, and all the house of, oh, what's the secret in the word Yasharal, right? I told you last week, in the name Yasharal, you also find the word Ras. If you flip the word around, the Resh, the Aleph, and the Sheen, then head. Now, if you take the Lamed and, and put it before the Yud, you get, I have head. Well, in other words, but what does that mean? But if you, I have head, but what in the head? Limbic brain. But what's in the limbic brain? You turning on, you creating friction between the pineal and the cerebral cortex, which produce resonance. This resonance produces electrons, enlightenment. Out the entire body what you're reading is in fact a code so it goes on to say and they brought up the hark of yahoah look at the next word for ark by the hebrew what's that word unmute your mic Yes, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. So look what I was saying. Look up that. Look at the word for ark. What's that word for ark? Are you talking about in the Ivri? Let me look at. I, I ain't even got. I don't even have my Hebrew text on me right now. But if That's I'm right. not mistaken, isn't it like um? I know the word. Shoot. Ah, I forgot. I forgot. But right. I don't have. I don't have the, the Hebrew word text. There. The word there is Haron. <laughs> yeah, Haron, Haron, Haron. Which has dang, the same dang. root, same root as the father of the Israelite priesthood. What's the who's the father of the Israelite priesthood? Okay, Haron, Haron. All right, and within that it means dang. box. But it's referring to <laughs> what is that box? That's funny. It's funny with you where you're about to go, right? Because my Isha was about to make you a poster with that the center of the of, of, of the heart and we know that's symbolic to the inner sanctuary where the spirit of the earth womb dwelled that and maintained and it's funny we dealing with this subject matter right now where you about to go and the poster she was going to make the date was that right there exactly that box is tied into limbic brain central nervous system, cerebral spinal fluid, DNA. It's tied, notice it said, Aron Yahowah, 
creative process, the infinite creative process for regeneration and healing. The dance, this is a ceremony that he was doing. So let me ask a question. Or what people have preserved this particular set of dance movement? Can we look through the captivity on the continent and find any? Because you know why? We have to put the pieces back together. We have been scattered. If you scattered the 12 tribe, the 12 cranial nerve, the 12 meridian, and the body can't function properly. Isn't that true? We scattered, but we know must, we must have to, we must put the pieces together. To our system now. Hopefully, in that same verse, you see the word brought up. Yahweh was shouting, trumpeting. They were drumming. Right? The word for brought up, there, mighty Hebrew? Yes, I'm here. The word for, for, for brought up is Mayalim. And that is very significant because in Jamaica, you gonna say there, is a, there is a dance movement. I'm trying to do honest. A circle with shouting and drumming and so forth. And the name, guess what they call it? It bears the same exact name. How? Would you say? What you say, priest? What you say they called it again? But I'm so saying the now, they, when it says they brought up the ark, right? In other words, you move in substance along your cerebral, uh, uh, moving cerebral spinal fluid, the Kundalini, up, right? So the word here says they brought up the ark. Ark of Yahweh. Activating. They're doing something to the Kundalini, cerebral spinal fluid. But the word there for that is Bim. In Jamaica, that same, same word has been ascribed to a particular dance movement that was brought from her to the Caribbean. Yes, I'm here. I'm here. I can hear you. We all can hear you. No. All right. And also, I'm going to send the audience, look up an article entitled send me the African American. Send me the link so I can send it. African American. Spirituality. Now, I'm pulling it up right quick. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to send it. The article entitled, I'm going to show you the connection. Because, i send it to you right quick. Because the reason why I bring it up, because it wasn't only preserved in Jamaica. They found this artifacts and particular dance movement in Eastern Maryland. In a recent in the archaeological dig that was an article that came out November 7, 2016. Kane, okay, I can hear you. Only reason why I mute you so it won't be no type of rocket so everybody can hear you. So if it take like a few seconds. And, uh, well, I, I have the link, Elder, and I live in the state of Maryland and the area of eastern Maryland is in uh, Maryland's eastern shore along the Atlantic Ocean. And mm -hmm. that history, it played a, a very important role. A lot of the Moors, the Moorish Americans, can trace their history back to Maryland's eastern shore. But I have the link. Please continue. No, very interesting because I'm trying, I'm have, I have one more link to show. One more dance movement, which was done in a circle. 
And mighty Hebrew, you post something recently that explains the significance of the circle. Because when you say yud hey wav hey, it's a circle. It's eight. It's infinity. Travels in circle. It spirals. Right? Ezekiel wheel of wheel is depicting the same chakra activation that David was doing in this dance known as Mayalim. And the same word has been preserved in Jamaica. That's what they call it. Now, I'm saying that they might have had other elements to it and corrupted it a bit, but this is ancient Israelite practice now. Temporary, what dance practice that we know in the Islamic world that relates to this contemporary, it is what is known as Sufi Islam. You see, they're dancing and are going into trance and activating higher brain centers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm not saying it's the same exact thing, right? You there. Okay, and I'm here. We hear you. Just listening in. Okay, okay. so in, 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 you know, in the add into what you're saying, you're absolutely correct. Even when you, and I think one of the major problems, let me, um, so you can see me. To the family, I think one of the major problems in the Israelite culture is our incomplete understanding of Eastern culture and Eastern thoughts. Yes. It's very important and very imperative that we come to that grip and understand it. Hallelujah. Um, Basically, now let me show you another connection with that dance movement. Done in a circle. That's a question. Yes. Capoeira. Oh, Capoeira. Okay, what about it? In a circle. It is near. Okay, it's done in a circle. It's done in a circle. All right, now. Oh, let me show you something here again. Capoeira, the original word Kipura, right? And Kipura comes from the word Kippur. So, what does martial art does? When you do in martial arts, you are cleansing, removing negative and inhaling positive energy, righteous energy. It's the same, and that is what Kippur represents, and that's what you are actually doing in Capoeira, art of peace. But it also have what? Healing and self-defense mechanism in it. But to tie with hiding with, Bash, with Bashim, you there, Bashim? Yes, sir. A tied in, notice where Capoeira come from. Capoeira has its roots in the Congo or the ba in Bakongo cosmology. What that article says: people who practice Mayalim in Jamaica are of Congolese origin, origin, and the people who practice this same movement here, they in this article they also tr trace it to. And if you see the correlation, yeah, this is powerful, and I'm enjoying it. I'm just trying to make sure that the audience is able to see the article as well. And I posted it in the link, but uh, please continue. I'm enjoying it, Elder. And now I'm gonna post another link in Jamaica where they're doing the dancing. <laughs> show again the preservation yes we have preserved our ancient custom but it has but we have preserved it in fragmented ways and means but these things need to be examined and restored properly so the are you there mighty hebrew okay yes i am so to, to add something else to that now what is the symbol in capoeira 
Okay. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, isn't it a circle? Hold on, Bashim, what's your answer? Uh, I ap I apologize, Elder. I was um getting your video ready, so I had it muted. I didn't hear your question. What is the symbol of capoeira? What's the symbol of capoeira? My best guess, and I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I believe that it's a circle. It has actually the Star of David. <laughs> wow. Let me know if you need this video played. I'm listening in. Right? I'm enjoying it. You know what? I want you, to, I want you to play the video, and I want you to look at the turban the people. Ooh, and you know the shield of David when it's split in half with the one, you know, with the, the square inside out as a circle. Exactly, Ark. Exactly. Okay, well, I, I put the link to this video in the chat. Uh, we've got a nice audience that's tuned in watching us live. Can you, can you play it? Can you play it? Yes, I'm playing it right now. So for some reason, I'm not seeing it. I guess I need to click play then or something. I'm not seeing if you just click on my box uh, on the Google Hangout screen, my little icon at the bottom, you'll see it. You notice I'm not seeing it, but they're dancing in circles. Right. I'm getting ready to start the video now. Please mute your mic until the video is over so the audience can hear it. Okay. Okay, Elder, uh, if you would unmute yes. your mic, I, I think the audience so, gets the point. Please continue. So, 
So basically, if you notice, they were moving clockwise, just like the article says, right? Secondly, notice the attirement. Notice the turban, right? Now, if you, also, as you mentioned about the ancient Moors, one of the places where this is popular in Jamaica is known as St. Thomas in Jamaica, which was originally known as St. David. Interesting. And in that particular region, there is a city named Ya'alas, which is Ya'ela. That's a name that was given by the ancient Hebrew Moors that lived in that area. Practices are coming from that. Are we following? Yes, I am. And, and I've actually got the uh, next picture Dang. from that Dang. article pulled up to back up what you're saying. Please continue. Also, um, Basim, <laughs> how's the chat? How's the chat line? The people are enjoying the information. I made sure to put both links that the elder provided in the chat. Everybody's enjoying it. Please continue. Now, the next thing I'm going to pull up, I'm going to give you the link. And now we're going to I'm gonna give you this link real quick. We're going to Africa because what I'm doing, let me explain a little bit. If you do Qigong, understand, since the brain is the gateway to Yah, building cerebral spinal fluid in terms of exercise, dancing, meditation, prayer, all is not just one thing you do. To connect to the universe, to the most high of this heaven and earth. It's a series, it's a series of now worship or work that you do. Now, if you notice they kept they kept that going forward and back. Now in Qigong, that movement activate the governing vessel, the thrusting vessel. That movement send cerebral spinal, spinal fluid, blood, DNA, all the things necessary to activate the limbic brain to the brain. So that movement they were doing unbeknown to them, to many of our people, because they can't interpret, a lot of them cannot interpret what they're doing. They're just doing it because of tradition. It's actually, Take it, putting them into a trance, it actually healing, repairing. It's very medicinal. But there is other components to it it's that have been added to it that we're not necessarily going to be a part of. But this is ancient Hebrew practice. Now, I'm sending another link. The link is talking about the Ganawa people in Morocco. I don't know if anybody's familiar with. Ganawa people. Okay, I'm uh, putting the link in the chat right now, and then I will pull it up. There is, does anybody remember Claude McKay? See that again. Mm -hmm. See that again. Claude from the Harlem Renaissance. Okay, vaguely. Talk to us. Angston Hughes and those guys. Angston Hughes. Okay. Dang, 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 talk to us. Articles. Well, Claude went to Morocco and saw the similar practice taking place amongst the Ganawa people. Isn't this the same thing I'm seeing in Jamaica? Now, the Ganawa people is coming from the ancient Ghana Empire. Mighty Hebrew, you can speak on that. Gang, yeah, I definitely can speak on the um, empire Ghana talking about the Zion dynasty. What does the word what does the word Ghana mean? Well, they give you they give you two words. If you go into the ancient Akan as well as into the ancient Hebrew, it goes back to the root word Ghana or Gan, which means garden. 
but they also but say that just, it goes back to a West African word meaning war chief. All right, now watch this. Now, Ghana, Ghana cultivate. What did I just say Qigong is? Qigong is martial arts. Okay. It's cultivation. It's healing. It's defense. What is the name of these people who practice this art? And so use this weekend something significant to David Maya Maya Lim. Let me show you the same word is being used by the Ganawa people. Oh yeah, we're in for a treat here. Wow, it's, this thing ain't pulling up on my computer here. Are we there? We see, we got it up on the screen here. Okay, all right. If, 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 if you scroll, okay. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Real. No problem here. No, that's not what I want. Okay. All right, I'm pulling it back up now. Because if you go down, notice what the article said. The Ganawa people originate from West Africa, to be precise, the Ghana Empire. You see the connection? Present day Senegal, Gambia, also Mali. All right. I'm going to go down a little bit further. Further. The term Ganawa, the, the term Ganawa musician referred to people who practice which ties to pre Islamic African animism rights in Morocco popular culture. Now, listen what they say these people use these music, this music and this healing mechanism to do. Through their ceremonies are considered to be expert in magical treatment of, and I'm not speaking of Obi, witchcraft, the Hebrew speak of, treatment of scorpion and stings and psychic disorder. They heal disease by using color, natural imagery. You heard that? No. Kang, Kang, absolutely. Donna, let me ask you a question. What did David did to Saul? music to heal him yes or no Kane, Kane, he definitely did and it's funny that you say that because when you deal with the notes when you deal with the songs or notes in the piano it's seven notes all right seven you know chakras I mean? you, got, you got six and then one in the center so you don't know what player Deeply hypnotic trance music. His clothes fell off. <laughs> By the Hebrew. King, King. Absolutely. So he, he had to be in a trance. Mm. Goes on to say, marked by low tone rhythmic melodies. Same thing those people were doing in Jamaica. Call, call and respond singing. Hands clapping and symbol. All the symbols are called, and the period, the plural is Karkaba, which sounds sim similar to Kabbalah, which is the Hebrew word meaning to receive. You use the sound, the music, to what? Activate higher brain center to receive higher revelation, to heal. Electrical impulses are stimulated intelligence kai that heals the body ceremony use music and dance to set ancestral saints in context we invoke in the elohim dna helix Gabriel, who can drive out evil and cure psychological ills and remedy scorpion stings now another word Ooh, I, I'm not seeing it in this article, but in Ganawa culture, the person who lead the ceremony, guess what? Guess what his name is? Guess what his name is? 
Tell us, tell us. He's called a Amayal, Amayal man, or Amayal, Amayalim. He leads the procession. And if you notice in the video in Jamaica, there's somebody in the circle. Procession. If you notice that. Gang, absolutely, absolutely. So, I make, no, I make the correlation to that when Genesis speak of a midst came up, water the face is dealing with a particular movement, dance movement. aspect of this that we have back together and reserve sort of fragmented people we have lost a lot we have to examine the things we have preserved and fix them repair them so now this now takes me going in closing on this going to close takes me now to we're going right back now again to genesis 1 verse 2 mighty hebrew i want you to read that for me that one you want me to read Genesis chapter 1, verse 2? Yes. No problem. Genesis chapter 1, verse 2 reads on this wise. And the earth was without form and void. Oh, no, no, start at one. Start at one. Okay. In the beginning, Elohim created the heavens and the earth. All right, stop. When you're doing those dance movements, martial arts, Qigong, you are actually uniting centers, the lower brain centers. If we look at the word here, arashit, I'm going to break down each word, eta in the word, because bait, the bait actually corresponds to the corpus callosum, which is also depicted by your eyebrow. Thought and the corpus callosum deal with what communication between the right and left hemisphere of your brain. You say uh, you happen when you split the star of David. Okay, you get two one eighty degree. Get a angle. circle, right? You get a circle when you you um uh, bring it inside out. Exactly. So the big correspond to the corpus callosum. It deals with thought allow the right and the left brain to communicate. Now, it also connects to which all gallbladder. And the gallbladder deals with what? Making. Question, can you make decision without having proper communication between the right and left hemisphere to assess the situation? Are we following okay we are when you when you so basically when you look at capoeira if one of the dance movement they do they keep one of the movement they do they have their feet one of the, one foot going back and the other one coming forward back, the other one coming forward it actually depicts it actually depicts it actually activates the liver and the god black a decision right so now but the gallbladder also deal with peristalsis movements <laughs> okay next letter the race correspond to the well, let me pull up my notes here the letter race on to okay. let the race do I really need this all right
right here. Perfect. All right, just a moment there. Letter Rish correspond to, which means bridge, head. Now, the head is a bridge. Deals with sleep paralysis, right? Sleep paralysis, sleep, it is at night. Cerebral spinal fluid does the, activate in terms of repairing and also give you access to your DNA helix. Dreams, trance, prophecies, revelation. So both the date and the R is delation, right and left hemisphere. The bonds deal with communication between and the upper brain, right? Now, when you move to the next letter, so the first letter spell give us the word bar. And it's dealing with communication. Now, the next letter give us the word give us the next letter is Aleph, which symbolically represent air, right? Hydrogen, double helix bond, which which carry or anchor intelligence creation in the DNA helix. And so you get the word bara. You can't have creation without communication and or without the Aleph, which symbolically represent, represent oxygen, which fuel the combustion in between pineal, cerebral cortex, which produce resonance, which produce electricity, which produce chi, which produce intelligence, intelligent design. So that's the word bara. Now, now we're going to take a look. We're going to put the Aleph and the Sheen together. And you get the word fire. Now, what does that mean? You get the word act actually ish. Now, as I said earlier, fire, what fuels the Aleph? Oxygen. Represent what? Pineal, cerebral cortex, pituitary. Fusion between the friction between the pineal, pineal and the cerebral cortex. And that fusion, that combustion through oxygen. Now you activate in what? Memory, attention, perception, awareness. Right? So bara, sheet, bara, or bar ash, you're dealing with communication to stimulate what? The release of consciousness. So the next word we look at here now is, so we looked at bait, resh, sheen. Now we're looking at tab. So, communication between right left hemisphere, sheen, oxygen, stimulate combustion, which create resonance, which create electron, which create system. This, what this does now, it Representing intelligence and mighty Hebrew. Okay, I'm here. I'm here. Can you hear me? I was saying, what's what's the what's the Hebrew word for hand? Oh, hand, yod, 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 
Yod is the intelligence. Okay. Rich. This intelligence. How do you interpret this intelligence in existence within? What's the last letter of Berashi? The last letter is what? Tav. And Tav represent what? Completeness. And it also represents the cells. Mm. And it is the cells that allow you to interpret and get the experience so that is what Bereshit is conveying to us how to repair the brain in order to create pulses that heal your cells so you can function at a higher level so you may have access to impulses that guide your health, what you eat, that guide your worship. So, going back to um, Bereshit 1, to uh, Mighty Hebrew. Okay. Verse 2, Bittershit, chapter 1. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was right. on the face of the deep. What did I just say? The friction between the pioneer, which is carbon, and the cerebral cortex create what? Illumination in the limbic system. Is that correct? Correct. So, the earth here, the earth symbolically represents your spleen. You see, I want us as Hebrews to tie all of this into body. Everything you read in here is about you. Now, in something significant about the spleen and the limbic brain. Okay, okay. So we are we re, are we still in um, verse two? The the entire body is born out of the heart, right? Okay. The body, the physical body, started with a pulsatile movement. This organ to be created, right? Mm. No. The mother of the heart, the first child that the heart gave birth to is the spleen. Hebrew for heart is love. The word for spleen and pancreas in Hebrew is love, love. But in also correspond to a, a mother as well. Because now, out of balance, you get what? Are we following? All in response here. Not hearing anybody Man, talk to me. We, we hear. Trust me, we hear with you. We hear. Okay. So, so, so I just want to say this one thing. So, so basically, what you're doing is, I know you're taking this back to the bit of sheet code, the bit of sheet process, and I just want to convey to the family, there's a difference from what the Great Hill and Doctor is saying versus a lot of these people that write books like the God Code things like that 
when a lot of these modern day scientists, where they would call neo scientists, that acknowledge this, they acknowledge the scripture and they use science with the scripture. The difference is, is that they're just giving you the understanding that science and the creation story align. Whereas though the great doctor, he's showing you in the first pages how there is medical records that shows you how to keep the juvenated based on a martial science or a martial art that's outlined in the first pages of Better Sheet and all throughout the Tanakh for that matter. But he's showing that there is um, basically a medical bomb or, or a medication that can help you to rejuvenate the internal and the external organ organs of the body. And it's through the martial exactly. arts energy, or as we would say in Ivrit, the high energy that is in us. Essence, the state of your health, your worship, what your worship to what? Knowledge, martial science. <laughs> this is not spook. It says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You can't just get up and say, Yahweh, bless me. And no, study. You have to become a scientist. Gray Hiller, Gray Hiller. Um, yes. we, have, we have to close down. It's going okay, to be so, a, it's going to be a part three. I thought it was going to be two. How much more? It's not. How much minutes do I have left? Five. Of time. Watch me now. So now, all right. The spleen organ is in charge of the endocrine gland, such as the thyroid, the pineal, the pancreas, thymus, limbic system. The, the lymphatic system now the interesting thing is here all of these organs are tied the, the endocrine system is tied to your seven chakras which goes right back to what i was telling you about the dance that david was doing because one of the things that damaged this the earth that damaged the spleens is what when you become sedentary you don't exercise science clean govern the limb and through you to do some form of movement and all disease and when you're dealing with autoimmune disease yeast infection and all of those things that it starts in the spleen it's the, it is the master of your immune system now and delicate Harmonial balance is supported and controlled by your spleen. So in essence, the spleen also impacts the limbic system, the same system David was activating in those dances. The importance of health of these glands can be easily represented by, by your life and health and longevity. Since the spleen is the mother of the lungs, which is in charge of your immune energy, its health has a direct relationship to your immune response. The spleen is the initial builder of blood, breakdown of micronutrients from your food. So its optimum function is very important. Why is it that some people are sick all the time while others in the same environment and situation can avoid vision, what they eat and most importantly how they digest and transform food. right so basically when it says the earth is without food darkness upon the face of the earth is the spleen the spleen help to turn on centers because the brain what carries the light to these brain centers and the spleen provide the digestive enzyme to what stomach small intestines blood production red blood cell plasma star of david activate the limbic brain 
that govern the entire neuroendocrine system. So the earth is without form of what is referring to your spleen. spleen. And when the spleen is out of balance, it, you become worried. It, it affects, it throws everything out of whack. So that's what that's referring to. So we have to now get into the martial science. What David and them were doing. Movement. Qigong. It's, it, this is an integral part of maintaining. This physical body is also depicted by yud he wa The infinite process of creating and sustaining life dealing with emanation intelligence that is in your dna that you have to unlock experience the, the knowledge within to heal and be a beacon of yourself your family and your people sisters All right. Thank you, Elder. I enjoyed tonight's presentation. I know everybody on the live stream did. I'm going to turn it over to the tribal minister so he can close this out. It looks like there's going to be a part three, but uh, the elder and master healer knows he has an open invitation anytime he needs it over here. So mighty Hebrew, would you take us out? Good brother. Okay, absolutely. Giving all praise and honor to York Wall, the eternal powerful one of our forefathers. Abraham, Yixkak, Yaikov, all those striving for righteousness sake. Hallelujah, y'all. Yeah, it was an honor, great doctor, that you came through today. It's definitely going to be a part three. It is very important. Maybe the most important element in one's life is health, but health on a holistic collective level, you know. And this is one of the things that we don't deal with within the Hebrew Israelite community. We don't, you know, tie the scriptures in with our health by using the scriptures and decoding certain things. Because we got to look at the scientific world today. Majority of them, you know, are from what we call the Jewish community. And when you look, a lot of these scientific discoveries that they say that they done discovered and that they done found, they've been doing this by way of cracking the bigger sheet code or the Genesis code. So what we see with the great Dr. Master Hiller is doing, Bain Zigek, he's actually bringing forth that, that understanding that our ancient forefathers had when they was dealing in the martial world with martial science. And dance is a part of martial science, and not just dance, but it was also combat involved as well when we deal with our original Oriental background, because Oriental only means East or Eastern. So we got to get back into that understanding and grip and reality that we are one with all and all is one. You know what I'm saying? So we're coming along smoothly. Hallelujah. Again, giving praise and unto Yahweh, the Elohim, or the Allah of our forefathers and foremothers, and to all those near and far that's striving for Hebrews like Soviet nationalism. Keep your hands up in the sky for Yah. And your flags up. I'm Nasik Landing, Ben Ami Montezoya, I'm Ben Yasha Allah Senior. I am the prince for the people in a better world under the divine leadership of Prince Asiel Ben Yisrael. I'm also an ambassador and trainer under Prince Asiel Ben Yisrael. I'm also the Minister of Information for the United Nation of Israel and the Tribal Minister of the Kingdom of Yahoo's Covenant House of Yahuda. I just want to give everybody all love and respect and i want all israel to come together and rise and resurrect as a nation to the first nothing else matters hallelujah shalom aleichem hallelujah. i'm basim on behalf of global media inc i thank everybody for tuning in please check out the website www themightyhebrew.com. We appreciate all of your support. Till the next time, be safe. May Yah bless. Shalom.